monolithic systems don't scale globally. If your single server is in California and someone in Japan tries to use your app, they'll experience terrible loading times. Plus, if that one server goes down, your entire application goes offline worldwide. This is why almost every major application you use today is distributed in some form. Instagram, Netflix, Google, Amazon. They all sacrifice either consistency or availability to gain the benefits of having servers around the world. They've accepted that partition tolerance isn't optional in today's internet connected world. So how do you choose between prioritizing availability over consistency or vice versa? Availability first systems work well for social media, video streaming and chat applications. It's better to let users keep posting and watching even if everything isn't synced perfectly. Instagram choosing availability means users might temporarily see different data, but they'll always get data, meaning they can keep scrolling. Consistency first systems are crucial for banking, stock trading, and medical records. A bank can't show you the wrong account balance or let you withdraw money that doesn't exist. It's better to show an error than incorrect financial data. Traditional SQL databases like Postgres lean heavily towards consistency. They'll often reject operations if they can't guarantee that every node will get the same data. NoSQL databases like DynamoDB or Cassandra favor availability. They'll often respond to your request even if the latest update hasn't reached every node yet. Neither approach is right or wrong. It all depends on what your application needs. So the next time your Instagram profile picture takes a few minutes to sync on your friend's device or Prime Video doesn't remember where you left off, remember, it's not broken software. It's the result of specific engineering decisions based on the CAP theorem. Engineers often choose to keep their applications fast and responsive, accepting that instant perfect consistency across the globe isn't possible. They've decided that it's better for you to keep using their app smoothly, even if it means dealing with temporary data mismatches, rather than showing you error messages every time there's a minor network hiccup somewhere in the world. And honestly, for most of our daily app usage, this trade off works pretty well. That's it for this one. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives like this. Also, check out umacos.com for technical courses, coaching, and more.